hotkeys. Hotkeys are very powerful. If you own a Wacom drawing tablet with ZBrush, which you should buy because that's the number one tool with ZBrush is a Wacom drawing tablet. And Intos 4 Small works really good. That's what I use. Um, but pay close attention to this because your world's about to get a little bit bigger. So what happens here? Well, I have this menu. Okay. And it has a very useful t palette within the menu that I'm going to be using all the time. And what I want to do is set a hotkey so it launches. But I want to set a hotkey on my Wacom drawing tablet. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, you go in here and you make sure under preferences that you disenabled custom UI. That way that alt and control on the keyboard will set hotkeys. So what's my first hotkey? Well, up here, I'm going to use control and alt and click here on the menu and assign that to the letter J on the keyboard. That means when I'm over here, I hit J, this pops up. Okay, and I can select that and go right into it. Just like that. All right, that's good. Now, let's go up to the system preferences and go into functions. I can set this to keystroke and assign a letter. This time I'm going to put clear here and then J on the keyboard and hit OK. I'm going to name this JSON menu and hit OK and then close this out. Now pay close attention to this ZBrush must be put in here. Okay, so I must add it to it in order to take advantage of the system. Okay, there we go. Now, when I'm in the system and I click that on my Wake on Drawing tablet and let go, I now have that palette. I can jump into it and jump into this. Click and drag it out and then hit edit. So that becomes very easy to do. I can click and drag, get a primitive, make that primitive in here, drag it around. Perfect. So that is the power of having your own menu. Not necessarily using it as a menu, but using it as a hotkey. All right, so now that we have that, let's move on to the next video where I cover something even cooler than that.